Okay, let's take a quick look at how we find intercepts for linear equations. So, there are two different intercepts for lines that we'll be looking for, an x-intercept and a y-intercept. So I have a picture drawn here. I have my axes. I have a line drawn on it. This point right there, where my line crosses the x-axis, is the x-intercept. And over here, where my line crosses the y-axis, is the y-intercept. What you'll notice about the x-intercept is even if you don't know what the x value is for that point, you know what the y value is because you're on the x-axis. Remember, the x is the horizontal one. We haven't gone up or down, so the y part is zero. So when you go to look for an x-intercept, the way you find it is you set y equal to zero, and then you solve for x. Back to our graph, the y-intercept, you might not know what the y value is, but you know for sure that the x is zero because I haven't gone left or right. So to find it, when you're given an equation instead of a graph, you put a zero in for x, and then you solve for y. Of course, if you have a graph that's labeled and you can just read them off, then you could go that way. So here are two examples. We can practice finding our x and y intercepts. So the first line, 3x minus y equals 6. So let's start by finding the x-intercept. So to find the x-intercept, we set y equal to 0. So 3x minus 0 equals 6. So now we have to solve for x. 3x equals 6, x equals 2. Now be careful because an intercept is a point. Right? They're points. So an x value of 2 is really the point 2, 0. This is the answer for the intercept question. For the y-intercept, 0 goes in for x. So now I have 3 times 0 minus y equals 6. 3 times 0, though, is 0. So negative y equals 6, which means that y equals negative 6. And so the y-intercept, it's an ordered pair. You want to make your teacher smile. And when you write it as an ordered pair with the 0 in for the x, that'll do it. Here we go. Okay, second example y equals 2 thirds x minus 4. This equation is put into the slope intercept form, so you could actually read off the y intercept for this one if you remember that part. If you don't, go ahead. Plug a 0 in for x. See what happens. 0 in for x times that slope number makes that part go away. That means that negative 4 is your y intercept. Again, we're looking for smiley faces from your teacher, so we're going to put a negative 4 in parentheses with a 0 in the right spot. Now we're going to have to work a little bit for the x-intercept. Again, y equals 0. So you go to your equation, you force y to be 0, and you find the x-partner. So add 4 to both sides, and then multiply both sides by 3 halves to get the x all by itself. Looks like x is 6. So the x-intercept is the point. I'll go ahead and write it under my y-intercept here. 6, 0. So you can always use these to graph your lines as well. Got a little time, so let's go ahead and do a real quick sketch for these two lines that we have. So we'll start with the second one first. I have the point 0, negative 4, which is, eh, we'll guesstimate right there. And then an x-intercept of 6, 0. Let's put that right out there at the tip of my axis. And then we connect them. Does that seem reasonable? Well, I have the negative y-intercept I want. I have a positive slope, 2 thirds. Sure, I'll take that. Okay, now let's take a look at this guy over here. I'll squeeze it in right here. So an x-intercept of 2, 0, and a y-intercept of 0, negative 6. Connect those guys. And there, we can use our intercepts to get a quick sketch of our line.